We all know that you shouldn't do that. I don't think there's anybody can turn around and say what he did was correct. When you're sitting on the sideline and you've got a fourth official, and depending on the demeanour of the fourth official and the way he is, you're talking to him the whole game. And if he's a little smarty pants, you know what that's like. If he's condescending, if he tries to be over officious, there are so many things that go on in the how 90 can, minutes. How can a fourth official be over official? Uh, officious? Over official. He's not because, officiating. Well, because I've never seen an official well, get in a manager's you. face, but I've seen managers get in an official's face. Well, I'm just telling tell you why you what, it happens. Jurgen Klopp and other managers. Are you sticking up for fourth officials here? I am actually, because once a fourth, a fourth official has no impact really in what happens on the field. So why but, do these fourth no, officials have no, to take see, so much see, nonsense thing, because, from, from managers? Why? The managers should be banned and sent to the stand for the harassment they give somebody who's not refereeing a game. Uh, Mark, what did you make of Klopp's actions? I think Jurgen Klopp is a role model in this trans you know, transfers all the way down to grassroots. If we think that this is acceptable behaviour after they've just scored a winning goal to make it 4-3 and to harass the fourth official like it is and accept it, then we're completely wrong. We now need to look at this because, for me, Jurgen Klopp should have been clearly dismissed from the technical area and should be looking at a touchline ban or a fine, whatever the FA decide, that's not the referee's problem. That's up to the FA how to deal with it. But if we think that this is acceptable behaviour, when we're now seeing it all the way down in grassroots, then for me, this is just clearly nonsense. We have to now act. And I wish the referee had sent him off to set an example that we cannot accept coaches. OK, we can accept the coach, having a word with a fourth official, maybe getting upset, but he clearly ran from distance. He's clearly got a problem with Paul Tierney, as we know, and therefore he's vented his anger at the poor fourth official. For me, this is not acceptable. Yes, Steve, you think of the children? At no stage did I say it was acceptable, you, by the way. I didn't... Well, it, sounded, I, it sounded like I, you're making an argument you know what? that fourth I officials started, deserve what, was the very, what is the very first thing I said to you? I hate fourth officials. Yes, yeah. The very first thing I said to you was, we all know it's not acceptable. And then I answered your question, by the way, because you asked me why he did it. And all I did was answer your question. But the reasons behind quite a defensive it. So don't tone start you. coming out with your nonsense. You're quite defensive tone. Because I've you? been in the position where fourth officials are not exactly what they should be. I, I, under, I understand. But Klopp has to stand and understand that he's a role model and can't do that. Well, listen, there's a lot of times when we, we lose our cool and we do things, and then in hindsight, we go, that was completely wrong. Oh, which I am, which I'm pretty place. sure. Klopp's going to say he was completely wrong, which I am telling you again is completely wrong. All I was explaining to you was, you know, you've got to remember, you're sitting, right, and you're, in the, you're right in the middle of the game and there's all kinds of emotions going through you and you've got a fourth official, right, who is trying, because this is what, what they do, and, and, and again, I said it yesterday, unfortunately, fourth officials have become punching bags. Yeah. Because they've been put in a position where that's what they are. And the worst thing for the coach is when a referee makes a decision which you know is wrong, and you always, you always go and try and use the fourth official as the sounding board, mm -hmm. and the guy, for some reason, will try and explain away how the referee got it right when it's blatantly wrong. And all of these things build up that. Should Klopp be banned? Should he be? He should certainly be fined. Should he be banned? Uh, I, I, I guess a certain touch line ban would be in order because you can't do it. You, we all know you can't do that. You can't. You can't behave like that. Certainly when you're Jurgen Klopp, you can't do it. So if he gets banned for a game, then I, I don't have any problem with it. I'm sure he won't have a problem with it. But again, as I said. I'm just explaining okay. how your emotions sometimes get the better of you, and that's what happened. I'm glad you changed your mind from yesterday, Shaq. Um, yes, it should be banned. And listen, I, I understand it's an emotional game and emotions are running, running high, but I, I don't think... I, I don't... You cannot defend um, approaching an, an official in, in that way, under, under any circumstance. Aside from which, we just hear, given Jurgen Klopp the benefit of the doubt, that the fourth official was trying to explain something away in well, a way... Stephen is. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. 
Whatever. I, at this point, at this you point, you said that. I, I, I never said that. Or, or you, were, you, but your your defence. I explained something that had right. happened to me previously, all, all I'm which saying, winds you up. Okay. My, my, my point is, your defence of Jurgen Klopp and his actions were that sometimes force officials do this and try to explain away certain decisions. We have absolutely no idea what the force official said. <laughs> we have no idea. He could have just been standing there all game long. We have no idea. So to, to offer some kind of an excuse to Jurgen Klopp, I, I, I don't think we're in a position to. Have I got to say this again? I'm not trying to make an excuse for Jurgen Klopp. How many times have I got to say it? I'm explaining to you why he lost his cool. I've not once made an excuse for Jurgen Klopp. Right. I'm you, not making an excuse. All I'm what he did is wrong. You're, and I said that. You are trying to make an I excuse. I am trying to tell you why he lost his cool. That's not my fault. But we don't well, know. That's, that's we him. don't know why he lost his cool. We don't know what the fourth official said to him. But that's why I'm telling you what happens when you're sitting on the touchline and you're dealing with a fourth official that's for 90 you, minutes. Steve. We that's can't... the reason why you get wound up. Hold, hold on. Okay, that's you. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, we have no idea. You have dealt with fourth officials, and this has happened to you, and you've got wound up. But as we sit here, we have no idea about what happened between him and the fourth official, is all I said. Well, we clearly know that... Well, you clearly know. No. But I don't. No. Oh, so you just... So they, they haven't spoken to each other for 90 minutes, but he just... All I'm over. saying is, clearly you know, I don't. As I sit here, I have no idea. I was not tracking that. I was not following. I'm not offering Jurgen Klopp any kind of a get-out clause in this. That's I, all I'm saying. I don't, I don't think it's too difficult to work out that the two of them have had some words during the 90 minutes, uh, which all, has ended up with him losing his cool. Or, as you say, was he the punching bag as the problem he had with Tierney, which, of course, he vocalised uh, very much so after the game. This is going to get him to a lot of trouble as well. How they cannot give a foul on Salah before Spurs' third goal. We have our history with Tierney. I really don't know what he has against us. He has said there is no problem, but that cannot be true. How he looks at me, I don't understand it. In England, nobody has to clarify these situations. It's really tricky and hard to understand. My celebration was unnecessary, which is fair. But what he said to me when he gave me the yellow card is not OK. Well, we heard the Referees Association come out, actually, and all the audio is recorded from the referee, and there was nothing untoward. That, that, that's what they said. Um, obviously, Mark, Klopp's going to get into a lot of trouble for this as well. Yeah, 100%. And it was interesting to listen to the argument about trying to defend Jurgen Klopp or would, would punish Jurgen Klopp. This is not the first time Jurgen Klopp has been involved with a match official. If we recall early in the season where... Gary Bezik was the assistant and he ran to his face and screamed in his face and he got punished. So this is the second time. And what's interesting is Jurgen Klopp made a comment after the, after the match to, to journalists saying that Paul Tierney had said something. What he forgot now is that the match officials' conversations are now recorded under the VR system and therefore the PGMOL, as they have the right, they listened to the audio after the match and immediately cleared Paul Tierney. So for me... It was perfect that this didn't run on, that Jurgen Klopp made a statement that Paul mm -hmm. Tierney had said something out of turn. The PG Moore listened to the audio. There were six match officials plus uh, an, uh, an operator from Hawkeye who do the VR system would have heard what Paul Tierney said, including the broadcasters, because they sometimes hear also the, what the referee is speaking. And therefore, there was nothing untoward. So whatever Jurgen Klopp has said or he thinks he's heard, clearly wasn't heard. And therefore, I'm pleased that the PGM well have clearly cleared this up. And, you know, it helps the referee and, and certainly referees going forward that the conversations are recorded. Because if you recall in 2012, when I had a problem with Chelsea and I was accused of something, mm. we, our, our, our audios weren't recorded and therefore it leaves some suspicion. This leaves no suspicion. Clearly, Paul Tierney didn't say what Jurgen Klopp thinks. They've missed a trick, haven't they? I mean, I, I, the fact that, that everything is recorded is fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. But surely, surely they should put out what he said because if they're saying he did nothing wrong, if they put out what he said and it's, there's no. nothing wrong, I then you're putting the pressure on Klopp. No, it, no, it makes I, I him, think, it think, makes no. him look worse because no. he's trying to say something that's not true. But then Klopp hasn't come out and said Hold what on. he said. Well, yeah. you know, but they're, they're in a position where they can... They're, they're in a strong position. Because if they put out what he said, which they're saying the, the referee's no, absolutely I, not, not, not wrong, 
then then it's going to put the pressure on Klopp because he's trying to say something that's not correct. If, if I'm if I'm if I if I'm in the PGMOL, I have absolutely no problem because Klopp didn't say that he said this, so they don't have to put out any audio or uh, uh, or, or, or the diction of, of of the audio. And 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 so I am with the PGMOL on this one. But again, Klopp's statement here kind of leans into why his reaction during the game, during injury time and post-game, is even more ridiculous. And here's a manager I, I, I absolutely like a lot. But when Jurgen Klopp is saying, the referee look at me funny, that's kind of hard to accept. Goodness me. So to the point and to the argument that we were just having, who knows if the fourth official just looked at Jurgen Klopp funny. I mean, <laughs> this just... But then that's goodness. perfect to put the pressure on Klopp then. If you've, I know, if I, you've I know. got exactly what was said... Then all you've got to do is produce it and say, right, come on then. I don't think you've, I don't think he's the PGM insinua Klopp's insinuated Klopp's, the referees out of the Klopp's right? putting all the pressure on himself. The PGMOL don't have to don't have to add to it. From the time you come out and say, this referee, I'm not sure on the balance of this game, where for all the decisions, whether you get it right or wrong, I thought benefited Liverpool. Spurs M Ryan Mason has far more reason to feel aggrieved than Jurgen Klopp. On this game, if you come out and say, man, I don't know about this referee, he just look at me funny, he don't give us anything. On this game, then Jurgen Klopp is fighting a losing battle, all by himself. Ian, would you like to shout at Stevie as well? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with him on this at all. I mean, it's a passion play, and yeah, feelings run high, but none of the other managers are doing that. Are they running up to the, the, the fourth official like that and... and staring in his face and, and making gestures, whatever it was he did. Um, so I do think he's going to be for the high jump here. He's got previous, as Mark Glattenberg uh, has said here. And you cannot, you can say the referee got decisions wrong after a game. What you can't do is question his integrity. And that's what he's done here by saying he thinks Tierney's got an agenda <laughs> against... Liverpool, that doesn't stand up at all. He could have sent off Jota. He could have given a penalty against Canate in the game. So I think he is going to be in line for some fairly stiffish punishment. And what sort of ban fits the crime in this case, you feel, Ian? Um, I don't know. Mark could tell you that a, a little bit more, but it'll be some kind of touchline ban, I would think. Mark, how many matches would you like to see him miss? Yeah, you know... Because he's got previous, it'll certainly be a touchline ban because it clearly a, a monetary fine doesn't have any punishment to Jurgen Klopp. So the only way we can deal with it is a touchline ban. I think they'll give him a one man one match touchline ban and you know offer him a further punishment if he continues doing this. So for me, one match should be enough. Uh, a fourth official's a help or a hindrance, Mark? I feel for the fourth officials, especially the way they're being treated at the moment. They're, like the boys said, they're a punching bag. So they, it's really difficult for the fourth official. All the fourth official could do is warn, tell the referee what he's heard, what he said. But you're not just getting it from the manager, you're getting it from the coach and staff. You're seeing it week in, week out. We even heard the Brentford coach saying it two weeks ago when they played Newcastle, that because Newcastle do it, we feel it's OK to do it. So the clubs feel it's OK to do it. It needs to be put to a stop that the fourth official is allowed to do his job. He's there to support the referee on the field of play. He's helping the substitutions. He's also trying to explain things to the benches to try and calm situations down. But the coaches are so highly strung at the moment, they just don't care. And something needs to be done about it, as well as players' behaviour. Coaches' behaviour needs to be looked at. Would you get rid of him, Mark? <clears throat> what, fourth officials? Yeah, you've got to have you've got to you've got to have fourth officials, Dan. You know, you know, coach. It's not all coaches. Some coaches look. When I was fourth official, you could have a chat with them. You could have a smile with them at the right time. They wanted to know what was being said on the earpieces. You wanted to transfer the messages across. You wanted to help, but at the moment, because there's so much pressure, there's so much emotion, it's just getting slightly over the top. We all love the Premier League, the excitement, the drama. This game was absolutely brilliant to watch. And we're now talking about the behaviour of a coach. And Jurgen Klopp regrets it, but the action was already done. Something needs to be done more with the clubs, the referees, the FA, that this doesn't happen. Because, like I said before, 
this transfers all the way down to grassroots. And if they think that's acceptable, how do we feel that referees are ever going to referee football matches? Mark, thank you very much. And thank you so much that his camera didn't slip because before the show it did and nobody wants to see <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.